guys my name is Michelle the menopausal sewer welcome to my vlog um, today I'm going to be speaking about um, parts, some parts of the Mulvans uh, quilting festival and what I've got up to this week if it's of interest please keep watching so guys um, first of all my apologies if you can hear the washing machine in the background and the dog will keep coming in and out um, I am actually in my living room at the moment. Um, my stone room is actually uh, a bit of a mess today. So um, my vlog, <laughs> my aim today is to sort that room out um, and sort my nails out because they're quite long. Can't can't have them that long. Can't hold them. I think. Anyway. This week I have actually finished my um, quilt for underneath my sewing machine. So here we have it. And I've put the binding as the same as the quilt, the blind in my bath bedroom. And that is the back. There are a few wobbly bits here I can see and here. But as my neighbour says, who is a quilter, it's unique. Nobody else has got that same one. So I agree with that. Um, yep, so that's that's my quilt for underneath my sewing machine. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Um, I actually made myself a pin cushion and a thread catcher to go with it. Um, I, it is a bit longer at the back, so I am going to adjust this. As you can see, I have got it quite long, so it needs to go up about that much. But it depends how far back in my sewing room that um, I put my sewing, sewing machine in my um, room. So I've got to just adjust it. Because um, on my table, I do have it quite far back, so I can use my quilt a bit further and um that was that that's what i've sewn this week with that that was my main sewing this week i'm i'm, I'm afraid i haven't actually done much more sewing um other than that i've been concentrating on getting this finished so i can go back to um doing my other quilt for the uh, for the baby that um, is due in August. So I went to the Mulvans uh, Quilting Festival, the three counties, um, last Sunday. Um, I did promise to, excuse the dog, he's barking at the birds in the garden, so I do apologise. Um, and I bought some fabric to for the baby's quilt. Now, the, they didn't actually give me um, the family who is uh, receiving the quilt hasn't actually um, given me an idea of what colours they wanted. They just said it was for a girl. So they said that they're quite happy with whatever I chose. So I was walking around and there was lots of pinks and lots of purples and lots of blues and but nothing really baby related. And then I went to this stall that was, um, I think it was, um, it was called Higgs. No, no, it weren't Higgs and Higgs. It was, um, I can't remember the, if I can remember the, if I can find the name, I'll put it at the bottom. Um, anyway, they had some, um, fabric by um what's what's the name now it's on the quilt sorry do apologize because i've washed it uh lewis and irene and um it's called spring treats and i bought this now it's not doing the much justice on the it's not doing it much justice on the actual uh, screen, but I bought that to go with this one, 
Now this one is also Lewis and Irie. And this one has also got little bunny rabbits on. I don't know if you can see the odd odd one here, there and there. There's one there and there's one there, look. Um, they've also got bunny rabbits on to match this. So I bought that one to match that for the quilt. And then I thought, oh, it'd be nice if we had some plain pinks in it. So I bought that one from the same shop. Then I went across the way and there was a shop, um, uh, called Lily's Fabrics. Excuse me, I've just had a text message, so I do apologise for that. Um, it was Lily's Fabrics and I bought some plain purple, a half metre to go with this quilt, as you can see. And then I also saw this one and I bought half a metre for that one as well. So I thought, oh, those would look really, really nice. So as you can see in a moment, when I get all my stuff together, let's get it all sorted. look really 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 nice as all the colours that you can see I don't know if you can see them a bit better like that um I thought those would look nice for the um for the baby's quilt so during the week once I finished my quilt I started doing some um cut out hexagons from um card as you can see it's just card from um from craft boxes and stuff like that that i've had lying around when i've done stuff with amelia and um i had some other card now to go through this card we've got i've got to have a really really strong needle which i do have here bailey so my next door neighbour Anne gave me this needle, which you can see is actually quite, quite thick and it will go through the card. As you can see, it's gone straight through. So, yeah, and then I can use those cards again and again and again. So... Also at um, Lily Fabrics, they had these um, these ones, and I was gonna, I was going to use these, and I bought like um, a fat quarter of those, which was like something like two quid, and this one as well. Now go back to those ones, those these ones from Lily's Fabrics. These was like three pound for half a metre. Um, so I had those. And these ones came to, I think these came to something like, I think it was something like 10 pound for all three of them. Um, and I, I was quite happy with that because I thought, well, I think it was because that was end of bolt and she gave them to me for as a as a treat because I told her I was doing a a um a vlog not a vlog I told her I was doing a um baby's quilt and she said oh go on you can have them all for a tenner and I thought that was really really sweet of her so yes um that is everything I've been up to this week. Not much has gone on, to be honest. Um, I am going to be sewing up a Donny shirt next week um, to use up all my fabrics that I've got. It is my intention to start using all the fabrics I've got because it's getting ridiculous in that sewing room at the moment 
for fabrics. Um, I also need to do start making a twirl for my dressmaker's ball dress for October. And I also need to make a twirl for my um, Nova coat, uh, which I'm doing a um, collaboration with Sam from the Sparkling. Let's so, so let's sparkle with Sam. So yeah, that's about everything that's gone on this week. Um, other than that, there is nothing else to. <laughs> to vlog about um, my dad's doing okay I'm doing okay and um, Katie is nearly finished university and she's coming home and uh, Ian's off for five days so I'm going to be enjoying uh, a couple of days with with the family and I will see you next week um, after the bank holiday so I'll see you soon bye bye Actually, I've come back on because I want to show you a quilt that um, a lady made at the, qu um, the quilt festival. She made it with the smallest, smallest of um, hexagons. You will see when I show you, you know, um, up close how, how much it, it, detail she must have put into it. How they get, she got the colours to roll all into one, I do not know. But I thought it would be nice to show you anyway. Um, there was different other, there was other quilts that were amazing. There was one more made one which was stretching like this. Um, I do believe the lady will be releasing a pattern for that one soon. And um, there was just there was just loads and loads and loads. But I thought I'd show you this one because it was so intricate with the the colours that they they just went all in line and. Um, the tiniest of hexagons i was amazed by it as well so i'll show you that and i will see you next week bye bye